Right, hello there. Um, Jonimus here to show you the Indiana Jones Blu ray Complete Adventures box set. It's the limited edition version, so this one is the one with all the extra memorabilia that uh, you can only get from certain retailers or uh, online, I believe. Uh, it may be available in certain stores, I know HMV might have it in stock. This one was from Play.com, arrived today, and it was $59.99. So, a uh, quick look at the actual packaging. Obviously designed to look like a journal. On the back there, for the first time ever, all four movies on Blu-ray. Seven hours of special features. This has all the extra content in here. There's some extra, say, memorabilia and things like that, which I'll show you in a moment. And obviously, all four movies. It says on here that the uh, Temple of Doom and Last Crusade have been completely uh, colour corrected digitally and that Raiders of the Lost Ark has had a frame by frame for restoration. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull obviously being more recent uh, hasn't had to have a lot of work done to it so there we go so that's the packaging for that so we'll just slip the sleeve off of there uh, it's a bit flimsy I managed to re-stick it but uh, that actually is a little bit um, you know I, to be honest I think that's actually going to come apart now anyway so that bit will probably be just got rid of. I don't like having all these extra bits anyway. Stuck to the box. I've also taken off the age rating stickers as well because they seem to make it look a little bit, well, tatty as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, yeah, once you take the sleeve off, it looks very much like a journal. So uh, there we go. And I'll show you what's inside the box. Now, this one's got some extra little bits and pieces that you won't be able to get with the standard edition. So that's why I went for this one. A uh, Indiana Jones film cell, which features the scene where uh, Indy falls into the, the Well of Souls, uh, into the pit, and uh, comes face to face with the Cobra. So it's a nice little film cell there, and this is limited edition, so it is only available with this collector's edition version of the Blu-ray. So you can only get that with limited amounts. So uh, definitely worth, if you'd like that sort of thing, going for that. Uh, and then in here... Inside the plastic, I'll just open this up. Uh, some postcards, which uh, feature different behind the scenes photos from the movies. So, uh, as you can see, postcards there. They've got Raiders of the Lost Ark, classic scene from the beginning of the film there. There we go. Temple of Doom, George Lucas again, very happy. Uh, Last Crusade. That's a really nice picture actually. And then Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. With Shia LaBeouf looking like he's getting karate chopped in the face. So, although there's probably a lot of people out there that would like to do that to him based on the monkey vine swinging scene from the film. And uh, that's personal opinion obviously. So you get those in a little pack. And then we get this here which has a whole bundle of bits and pieces in it. And uh, I'll open this up for you. You can see, obviously, there's a few bits and pieces in there. And we'll tip those out. Put that aside. So we'll start with this, which is uh, Pankot Palace Guardians of Guardian of Tradition dinner, which actually has the menu of all of the crazy stuff that they were eating around the table in Temple of Doom including the primate parfait, the chilled soft monkey brain served in monkey heads and so on, and all the bugs and creepy crawlies, all that lovely stuff. So those bits and pieces are there. And we have uh, from Last Crusade, the grail rubbing. You can see that at all. Might be getting a bit blurry. There we go. That's better. Um, but yes, yeah, the rubbing of the grail that Indy took um, to match up with the other piece that he was given by the, the bad guy in that. Uh, matchbook from Club Obi-Wan from Temple of Doom. Anything goes. Which actually has matches in it as well. So it's a genuine matchbook. Not that you're going to use it if you're going to be buying this set. Two tickets for the uh, Deutsche Zeppelin from uh, Last Crusade. Tickets for... Uh, for Herr Schott and Herr Widerstand, so the 
pretend names that Indy and his father were going under when they were trying to escape from Berlin. And then the picture of Indiana Jones and his dad. Me and dad taken just when we moved to Utah, 1912. So a picture you might recognise from the beginning of uh, Last Crusade, Sean Connery, River Phoenix. And then this one from Raiders with the inscription from Marion saying, I can see the resemblance now between you and that monkey. So uh, the picture of Harrison Ford and the little monkey. And then we have uh, an airline ticket for Pan American Airlines uh, for Dr. Uh, or sorry, Mr. Henry Jones Jr. Travelling from San Francisco to Kathmandu. So one of Indy's many journeys across the world. And then that leads us into the box set, which is actually just in here, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but I will show you also the last bit of memorabilia, which is in here, which is Indiana Jones Journal. With the elastic band on there. Now you look in it and you think, oh, that's been ripped off. There's nothing in it. But you've got to get a few pages in. And then it gives you a load of the diagrams that uh, Indy's father wrote down in regards to uh, finding the grail. You know, the numbers in the library, um, the location of uh, the Canyon of the Crescent Moon, and things like that. You know, only the penitent man shall pass. But then when you think it's just going to be all about one particular film, you can skip skip along. And it's got uh, a poster for Club Obi-Wan, Willie Scott's performance. But literally, it's just got, it's got diagrams and scribbles and, and bits about everything from all four films, even Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. There's one here, look, uh, got to get one of these, looks pretty pretty durable. Um, a refrigerator, which we all know he used to uh, survive an, an explosion of an atomic bomb, so nice bit of advertising there. They don't make those ones anymore. They don't make them like they used to. So yeah, get the journal as well, which is nice. And then lastly, yeah, we'll get rid of the box out of the way. You get your uh, Indiana Jones Blu-ray box set inside with a nice bit of artwork on there. Looks very good. A sturdy case as well. Once again, artwork on the back there. So we'll just open it up. Same artwork on the inside. Five discs in total. So uh, as you open it, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom. Those are the two discs just there. And they've also got some production photos from behind there as well, including some of the original poster artwork. A particular favourite of mine is this poster. If Adventure has a name, it must be Indiana Jones from Temple of Doom. That's a particular favourite poster of mine. And you've got The Last Crusade, which is that one. And once again, a bit of artwork and production photos from behind there. And then we go on to Kingdom of the Crystal Skull with the poster and pictures and then disc 5 which has all the bonus features on it and uh, I've not had a proper look at that yet this has literally only arrived today so I need to uh, get on actually watching it um, I put Raiders of the Lost Ark on earlier just to, there we go, and there's Kingdom's artwork on the back uh, yeah, watch Kingdom of the Crystal, uh, yeah, Kingdom Raiders of the Lost Ark earlier and uh, just watch the opening sequence of that uh, picture quality wise, I'll say it doesn't look, you know, like super sharp high def. I mean, it is obviously a 30 year old film, but at the same time, if you've ever had Indiana Jones on video or DVD, as I have over the years, um, it's still going to be the best way to watch it. The sound quality is very good. I have a 5.1 surround system at home and uh, I was able to feel a lot more enveloped in the sound system, that was good. It was nice to hear it in uh, such fashion. Put Temple of Doom on, just watch the opening sequence of that, it did look a lot sharper. Um, haven't looked at any of the other ones yet, but my recommendation is that this is a pretty good uh, box set in general. If you like Indiana Jones, which a lot of people do, and you're interested in getting this set, it's out on Monday, uh, the 8th of October, over here in the UK and uh, I highly recommend so hopefully that's given you an idea of what was in the collector's edition content because I haven't actually seen any videos online yet aside from a trailer about a minute long which shows you these things but I figured I'd do a little unboxing and show everyone what's officially in there so uh, there you have it Indiana Jones Complete Adventures on Blu-ray collector's edition 59 on play.com 
Thanks very much, guys, and I hope you liked it.